हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर रेनू कोली एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन जोलॉजी एट गवर्नमेंट बांगड़ कॉलेज पाली टुडे इन इकोलॉजी विल स्टडी अबाउट इंट्रा स्पेसिफिक एंड इंटर स्पेसिफिक रिलेशनशिप इंट्रा स्पेसिफिक एंड इंटर स्पेसिफिक कॉम्पिटिशन आर द टर्म्स यूज इन इकोलॉजी बोथ रेफर्स टू द सिचुएशन इन विच ऑर्गेनिजम आर कॉम्पिटिंग फॉर द लिमिटेड रिसोर्सिस रिसोर्सिस कैन बी फूड वाटर और एनी थिंग दैट ए लिविंग थिंग वुड नीड टू सर्वाइव इंट्रा स्पेसिफिक मीन्स विद इन अ स्पीसीज वाइल इंटर स्पेसिफिक मीन्स बिटवीन दैम सो इंटर स्पेसिफिक कॉम्पिटिशन इज ऑल अबाउट द कॉम्पिटिशन बिटवीन द टू और मोर स्पीसीज वाइल इंट्रा स्पेसिफिक कॉम्पिटिशन इन्वॉल्व डिफरेंट इंडिविजुअल ऑफ द सेम स्पीसीज टूडे वी विल डिस्कस ए फ्यू ऑफ द मेन वेज ऑर्गेनिजम्स इंटरेक्ट विद ईच अदर एंड विद डिफरेंट स्पीसीज इंट्रा स्पेसिफिक कॉम्पिटिशन आर यूजली मोर इंटेंस दैन इंटर स्पेसिफिक कॉम्पिटिशन बिकॉज द इंडिविजुअल्स हैव द सेम निक and so they are competing for exactly the same resources now interspecific competition symbiosis is a general term for interspecific interaction in which two species live together in a long term intimate association mutualism mutualism describes a type of mutually beneficial relationship between organisms of different species by definition each species involved in a mutualism must receive a benefit from the interaction however mutualist partner do not necessarily receive equal benefit organism live in a mutualistic relationship for a number of important reasons including a need for shelter protection and nutrition etc nitrogen fixing bacteria live in the root hair of legume plant where they convert nitrogen to ammonia the plant uses the ammonia for growth and development while the bacteria receive nutrients and a suitable place to go grow rhizobia bacteria is example of nitrogen fixing bacteria and they live within the root nodule of legumes the bacteria produce ammonia which is absorbed by the plant and used to produce amino acids nucleic acids protein and other biological molecules necessarily necessary for growth and survival the plant provides a safe environment and adequate nutrients for the bacteria to grow there are two type of mutualism obligate and facultative the in obligate mutualism one organism cannot survive without the another this term is easy to remember because both organisms are obligated or forced to rely on one another an example is the mycorrhizal fungi that live on the plant roots the plant roots take advantage of the increased water uptake from the fungi and the fungi get nutrient from the plant facultative mutualism in facultative mutualism each organism can survive independently but it benefits both to remain together an example of mutualism is bees moth butterflies etc they derive their food from the nectar of plant and in return they bring out pollination commensalism commensalism is a relationship in which one organism benefits while the other is neither helped or harmed a good example of commensalism would be shark and remora fish when the shark feeds on small fishes it might leave leftover which is consumed by remora fish the shark is unaffected by this however the remora fish is benefited another example is commonly seen between cattle egrets and cattle cattle egrets eat the insect stirred up by the cattle when they are grazing the cattle are unaffected while the birds gain food parasitism an organism is regarded as a parasite if it exists 
partially or entirely at the expense of another living organism parasitism is a relationship in which one organism get benefited and the other one is harmed but not killed the organism that get benefit is called parasite and the one which is harmed is the host parasite can be ectoparasite such as ticks leeches that live on the surface of the host parasite can also be endoparasite such as intestinal worm that live inside the host endoparasites can be further categorized into intracellular and intercellular intracellular parasite that live in the space between cells or intracellular which live inside the cell example of human parasites include roundworm leeches ticks lice and mites parasitism versus predation both parasites and predators they depend on another organism for one or more resources but they have numerous differences predators kill their prey in order to consume it as a result predators tend to be physically larger and stronger than their prey parasite on the other hand tend to be much smaller than the host and they no, do not normally kill the host instead a parasite lives on or within the host for a period of time parasites also tend to reproduce much more quickly than the host which is not usually in the case of predator prey relationship mutualism mutualism describes the relationship between the two species which interact but do not affect each other it describes interaction where the fitness of one species has absolutely no effect whatsoever on that of the other two neutralism is extremely unlikely or even impossible to prove last is amensalism amensalism is a relationship in which a product of one organism has a negative effect on another organism it is specifically an interaction in which one organism is harmed while the another is neither affected nor benefited usually this occurs when an, an organism excretes a chemical compound as part of normal metabolism that is detrimental to another organism the process of amensalism or antibiosis is common in microbial population and the chemical substance produced by microbes through antibiosis uh, are generally called antibiotics the penicillium is a common example penicillium secretes penicillin a chemical that kills bacteria other examples are algae bloom such as red tide or green tide green bloom are also example of amensalism chlorella vulgaris produce a toxin chlorellin an antibiotic which is harmful harmful to other algae this is the table which shows the relationship interspecific relationship as discussed earlier amensalism is a relationship in which a product of one organism has a negative effect on another organism it is especially an interaction in which one organism is harmed while the another is neither affected nor benefited mutualism both species get benefits commensalism commensalism only one species gain benefit without harming its host parasitism and predation advantage is one sided that is parasite species and predatory species get benefited thank you